once we have decided the size of the plate girdle, we will go in to check the proposed size of the plate girdle against different requirements. A thorough checks are to be conducted in various aspects which include the flank induced buckling and the moment resistance of the member. For the flank induced buckling, actually you have used these equations during the preliminary sizing analysis. However, during then, we normally assume this A web to A flank to be equals to 1. However, after we have decided the sections of the plaque girdle, that ratio of equating to 1 is not necessarily true. Therefore, we will have to check again for the exact value. It is important to ensure the ratio is less than this so that no buckling at the compression flange occur. The K value are given here. Next, we will going to check with the moment resistance of the member also. Once the area is decided, then we will check against the moment resistance with a more precise calculations. The lever arm here is no longer estimated as HW, but is actually referring to the actual centroid of the top and then the bottom flank. Again, the moment resistance is considered not contributed by the web.